And uh, here we have Lauren Nelson. He is the head of the Teton Photography Group. He initiated this thing. Uh, when did you initiate it? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to be here tonight as we open with a uh, little reception here for the uh, first exhibition in the Teton County Library for the Teton Photography Group. Uh, we thank Beth Holmes uh, and very much uh, the Teton Library and the Library Foundation for giving us this great space. It's a real opportunity for photographers in the uh, greater uh, Yellowstone area. We had more than 60 entries and we're happy to be able to show the majority of these entries over the two-month exhibition. We have several goals for the exhibition, not only for the individual photographers to be able to show their work, but very much we want to highlight the Teton Photography Group and its role in the community. We have initiated a new program called the TPG Ed Program, where we're bringing photography education to the greater Teton area. And uh, many of the photographers that are showing tonight will be participants and instructors in that program. All right, here we are at the Teton Photography Group display of photography at the Teton County Library. We're walking through here, just giving you an idea of some of the pictures that are on display on this March 6, 2018. Some beautiful images here, very touching images, very creative in their cropping, and some a little more subtle. Was this uh, Elk Refuge Sunrise by Sean Walker? <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm David Navratil. I'm in the Teton Photography Group, and I guess Beth Holmes and I have, were the ones who hung the show here. We want to thank the uh, Teton County Library for letting us have the show. We'll be hanging in half the show this month and half at the beginning of April. Um, Again, I'm with the photography group. I do work here in town at the um, Mountain Trails Gallery. I think we had in the neighborhood, well, so as far as entries we had in the neighborhood of about 80 entries. I believe we are going to hang 50 of the paint or the photographs, so 25 this month and 25 next month. Yeah. We hope everybody enjoys the show. Thank everybody for coming and all the uh, help from everybody in the photography group. So have a great day and enjoy the show. All right, so we've got the uh, oh, we got the moon by Linda Lancy here over the Tetons. Hi there, Rachel Dunlop. John Carney. Oh, hey, one of our uh, our. Our staff, Randy Isaacson, Fire Over String Lake, very nice print. And then the head of our group, Lauren Nelson, that's a Gumbo Limbo Bark Extract. And then uh, Lauren's got another image here, uh, 399 and her cub Snowy. A wild dog sunset. And a Savannah Sparrow. This is probably one of the more dramatic images. Uh, Moran, the northern lights over Moran here. And then a classic black and white by Ben Nardi. Yep, my name's Randy Isaacson. I've lived here in, actually on the other side of the mountain in Victor, Idaho for about five years. Been coming here since the early 70s. Taking pictures, lots of pictures here. Um, I was a professor and a teacher of, it, of teachers, educational psychology. Um, and so when I came here, I'm looking for a way to work with people and do some teaching there. I teach at a high school, uh, a yearbook, and I also started what's called the peer mentor program here. Uh, we have, what, how many, 22, 25 pictures here. Uh, about a third of them are from peer mentors, about half the pictures turned in, so there'll be more in April. Uh, we're from my peer mentor group, a uh, bunch of amateur photographers. We've had it for about two years. Uh, it's really been great. We learn from each other. We have a meeting every month. We go out on a peer mentor shoot. Hi, Rachel. Uh, and we just enjoy being with one another. This is a picture that was taken uh, at String Lake, one of my favorite places to go to for 
sun rises. Uh, it's always quiet. There's hardly anybody ever there early in the morning, uh, not so much in the afternoon. Uh, but it's really fun to, to take pictures here in Grand Tetons and Yellowstone. We're really close by, and we've got a lot of really good photographers here that are learning a lot about how to take pictures, wildlife, and also uh, landscape photography. Oh, I don't know what the settings were, but this, this picture was taken um, at, at a sunrise. Uh, I think this was probably one that was taken actually in the fall at String Lake. Most of the time, right to the left of this picture, people are taking, uh, doing swimming or doing kayaking. But if you get there early in the morning, uh, waiting for the sunrise, that's, that cloud just happened to be up, coming up over it. Uh, to the right over here would be Mount Moran. I'm not sure what this was actually shot at. ISO 100 is probably at 100, 125, something like that. Typically, I'm trying to shoot at about f16 to get the depth of field. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm solely a Nikon. Mine is a 610. This one was probably the 25 to 1. What is it? 20 to 1, 125. Uh, it's not the super wide angle. I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, but in, it's nice at uh, at String Lake. It's always nice for the in the morning because you usually get some fog coming off of the lake. Really makes it a little bit special. And really, one of the nicest times to take shots at String Lake is as soon as you can get in there early in April because there'll be snow all the way around the lake, but the lake will be thawed. It's really beautiful at that time of year. What we do is bring in pe uh, photos. They send me photos every month, two or three photos, and then we critique them. Uh, and we're starting a new, something new. Yeah, you didn't even know this, Aaron. We're starting something new. We're going to have a theme every month. This, like this month, the theme is architecture. So everybody has to bring at least one shot of architecture. And then we're going to vote on which the best one is. And that person then gets a chance to, to uh, pick the theme for the next month. And we'll do that all year long. Uh, thank you all for coming tonight. And uh, we want to give our very big thanks to the Teton County Library. Uh, to David Navratil and Beth Holmes, uh, the two who uh, pulled this off and brought everything together, not only uh, getting the thing assembled, but doing all that background work that takes so many hours. Uh, we really thank them for all their efforts. We thank, for, thank uh, all of the people who uh, helped to judge the images uh, as they came in. That was also a, a huge amount of work from, from everyone there. And uh, we thank you for being here tonight. The exhibit will go on for two months. And uh, we will uh, be very happy, I think, uh, in the reception, both for the public and for what we're doing here to get the name of the photographers out and the name of the photography group out in the community. So thank you. Enjoy. Please have, uh, have some uh, snacks here tonight. And uh, we will... Let you enjoy your evening. And here we go with uh, one of the most unique perspectives in this and show is the underside of a dandelion. How you get that? I'm not sure. A storm cloud by Ben Nardi again. And see, Stacy White's got a beautiful image here. And then one of the out of area shots, Rachel Dunlop, a hump humpback whale at Cindy Head's New South Wales. Wow, long ways away. That probably wins for one of the farthest away shots. And then of course the farthest away shot, uh, our local professional astronomer, uh, Mike Adler. He's actually got the eclipse. He's got a good clean image of it in the moon. So even though I even even though I wrote the uh, the book and the guidebook for the eclipse, I don't have the gear and everything to photograph it like he does. So this thing's amazing. <laughs> <laughs>